Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are visiting for the first time, my name's Aubrey, and for those who aren't visiting for the first time, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to share with you guys a little do-it-yourself project that I found on Pinterest. I had been wanting to get um, a new doormat for the fall, and I had bought a really cute one last year. It said, come in and cozy up, and I got it from West Elm, but it was seriously like, Sorry, it, my camera wants to focus on the microwave, I guess, but it was seriously like 40 to 50 bucks after shipping and taxes and everything. So I was just like, ugh. And then I found this really cute doormat, I think um, just like looking online or maybe through a Pinterest post, and it said, hey there, pumpkin. And I was like, that's perfect. And then when I started looking to like buy one, same thing. Everywhere like on Etsy, there's, on like Amazon, Etsy, it was like 30 to 50 bucks and the lower priced ones just didn't have as cute lettering so i just felt like okay i feel like i can make this if people are making this on etsy then i feel like i can make this too so i kind of searched how to make my own doormat and this is what i created i know sorry it's kind of hard to like showcase it because it's heavy can you guys see it <sighs> So yeah, it's not like perfect, but I think it turned out really cute. Um, so if you guys want to see how I did it and what tools and supplies I used to make that doormat, then make sure you keep watching. If you like this video and you want me to do more Pinterest inspired do-it-yourself projects, crafts, whatever, then make sure you click the like button, comment down below, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. Um, without further ado, Let's get on to the do-it-yourself project. Okay guys, as you can see, I've got a white piece of poster board here and I flipped it around so I've got like the matte finish where I'm going to be starting my trace out for the words. As you can see, I've already kind of drawn out the words that I want to use. Now I'm just going to go over them again to make the lines bolder so it will be easier for me to cut out the letters. Okay, so there was a few different ways that you could have used to cut out the letters. I thought because I had an X-Acto knife, this would be the easiest. Turned out the X-Acto knife was not the easiest method, and I'm going to keep researching easier ways. But um, it did the job for now, as you guys can see, and hopefully you guys think it's cute like me. <laughs> Okay guys, now it's time to paint, which is my favorite part because this is when your project really starts to transform into like what you visualized. Um, as you can see, I went pretty heavy handed, but that was the point because I really wanted the mat to be saturated in the paint and not leave any um, like bare spots. Bum, ba, da, da. Now you can see it without the trace. So of course I took it outside to finish the project with the um, top coat of polyurethane. And I wasn't very smart, I didn't put anything below it, but I figured since it was clear it wouldn't matter. But here I just used polyurethane to coat the top of the mat to give it a good finish. And here is the finished project. I think it turned out super cute. What do you guys think? Okay guys, so that's it. That's how I did it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'm gonna take it outside and set it up on my porch and kind of show you how it turned out with everything else. But I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you did, make sure you click the like button, comment down below if there's anything else you guys want me to do. I'm up for it. <laughs> and um, don't forget to subscribe or follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for being here. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.